Well, starting from the very basic growth theory in which we have output, so GDP or value added, is dependent on the technology we use, the amount of physical capital we have, so equipment, roads, infrastructure, and the amount of labor we can provide, what we call human capital. This is a basic growth theory. When we want to add the environment into this, and it started in the 70s, people started to consider the environment as an additional input in the production factor. So we would have technologies, physical capital, labor, and the environment. For instance, the soil and the water that we use for agricultural production. This is a very basic way of introducing the environment in growth theory. In this traditional way, we assume that if we introduce a policy to improve the environment, uh, it will increase production, possibly, but it will not affect human capital, uh, physical capital, or the technology, or even the efficiency of the entire process. What we add when we think green growth is to assume that when we introduce environmental policies, we can make them in a way that not only improve the environment, but also improve something else. It can be an improvement in physical capital. For instance, we build uh, railways, so it, it's a new physical capital, and because it reduces uh, congestion, it's also good for the environment. It can also improve the human capital. If we improve the environment and workers are in better health, uh, they will work better and it will improve human capital and production. So instead of looking only at the environment, we would look at the environment and human capital. Same thing with technologies. When we introduce environmental policies, it will have an impact on all firms and all producers. They will try to find ways to cope with these environmental policies. They will create new technologies, innovation, and possibly this innovation will not only be good for the environment, but also good for productivity and, and create additional wealth. An example is uh, photovoltaic uh, solar panels. They were uh, created for environmental reasons, to produce electricity without fossil fuels. But now we realize that if we use them in very remote villages in Africa, for instance, they are more efficient than fossil fuels, even without considering the environment. So in that case, we did something for the environment, but in the end, it increases productivity with better technologies, and it's not only an improvement in the economy because of the environment, but also because of these new technologies.